John Daly, I'm an Indigenous Ranger from Fish River. I'm here to talk to you today about the history of fire and fire as a management tool for looking after our country. When you look at the history of Australia and you look at the history of fire in Australia, Indigenous people were here first in Australia and basically we use fire as a management tool to look after our lands but also to hunt and forage. To, uh, fire was specifically used as a tool and not used to clear land and things like that. We used it in moderation and we used it basically to maintain and manage our lands. But you know, when we manage our lands we're talking about you know, using fire as a tool and what we call fire stick farming. And basically you know, we're, we're out there looking after the land by burning properly, burning at the right time of year, making sure that you know, fires don't get out of control and only burning small parcels of land basically to sustain ourselves and basically to hunt and forage on the land. Um, basically after colonisation, you know, Aboriginal people were taken into missions um, and homesteads, communities. Basically they were introduced to you know, non-Indigenous ways of burning and things like that. They became involved in the pastoral unit and things like that, you know, running sheep stations and cattle stations. European people introduced fire as a you know, land clearing tool as well as you know, using it to clear their properties. They used it to maintain their properties as well. So. A new fire regime was brought in, and you know, like we, we were sort of introduced to a regime that sort of involved the pastoral unit and how they burned and things like that. So, you know, it sort of went away from traditional burning and cool burning techniques and things like that. So, Aboriginal people, you know, lost that sort of um, input into the country on how they manage their land and things like that. Aboriginal people have always used it in the past. You know, fire has been a tool to basically hunt and forage and do what we call fire stick farming and basically we're farming our traditional lands in a traditional way, in a traditional sense. We're not destroying it by creating hot fires right across our lands. Also used for certain ceremonies. Fires are used to create smoke to cleanse you know, the spirit of loved ones that have passed on. But fire is also used as a passage for a young man to become, or a young boy to become a man. So fire is a right to passage. You, to becoming a man, so you know that's traditional. Traditionally, fire is used in many varied ways and forms. It's not just used for clearing country and looking after the country. It's used for looking after people and making people right as well. Fire is used as a healing tool, you know, to cleanse loved ones' grief when you've lost a loved one and things like that. So fire is used for many, many different things in traditional Aboriginal life.